the South African government then, given that it wants to spend 17 billion rand rolling out a technology and education program, how should they go about doing it? Well, I praise the government for trying to do that. I think, there, I think there's positive value in actually setting these goals. One of the things we've noticed as a result is that you know, the partners we work with are all now trying to innovate more in the sort of ebook space as opposed to the print, print space. Um, for a company like that, like ours, that's you know, extremely beneficial. Um, but every country is different, right? And you can you can look to the UK and you can look to the US and point at, at examples where this has worked. Um, but for everyone that has worked, there are also cases where this hasn't worked particularly well. And I think the most important thing, especially when you're trying to do this at scale, is to look at the instances where it hasn't worked and learn from those. But also consider, you know, what is the infrastructure and the and the local conditions like. So one of the things we've done in the technology that we've built is we've actually made it so that a student only has to download their content once. They download their ebook once, they download the quiz once, they can then use it for the rest of the, of the rest of the year. It's all stored on their local device, on their tablet, on their phone. Um, and that way, while yes, you have an issue with using Wi-Fi or internet access at the very, very beginning of that procedure for that one-time download, at least for the rest of it, it will, it will work. Um, and so often there needs to be this investment and this thinking around how do we, you know, build technology or how, what technology do we implement given our local conditions, our local limitations. And those limitations and conditions will be very, very different from South Africa than they are to the UK or the US or other parts of Europe where there has been the shift to tablets. Um, so we as a company are trying to deal with that, but it also needs to be dealt with in an implementation phase, in schools, at a government level, at a teaching level, in teacher training. Everything's going to be different when it's implemented in a different